An incredible ring that most likely belonged to a Celtic ruler and has been described as jaw-dropping is to go on sale at auction. The remarkable gold piece of jewellery will go under the hammer imminently and is being sold by auctioneers Noonan's of Mayfair in London. The highly prized Iron Age ring was rather bizarrely kept in a cupboard by a collector for 28 years. It was unearthed in a field in North Yorkshire in 1994 and is valued at up to £30,000. It dates back to 100 BC, decades before the Roman conquest of Britain. A metal detector user discovered the ring in Knaresborough in the 1990s and sold it to the current owner for just a few hundred pounds. The auctioneer says it is likely the Knaresborough ring was worn by a Coriel Talvi chieftain along with a neck talk and armbands as a symbol of his high status. The owner, a 66-year-old man who wishes to remain anonymous, stored it in a cupboard for 28 years before deciding to have it valued. The unnamed collector said, I'm in my 60s, I don't know how long I'll be around. I thought it really wanted a good home so my children don't have to figure out what to do with it. He initially believed it to be Roman or Anglo-Saxon, but when he took it to be valued at the British Museum, experts revealed its true age. It's jaw-dropping, he said. It's really quite a mysterious thing. We will never know for sure who owned it, but it was probably a power powerful Celtic chieftain. It's not quite King Arthur's ring, but it's the next thing down. We're talking about the beginning of British written history. The ring's distinctive abstract design is linked to the Iceni tribe of later Boudicca fame, which ruled swathes of East Anglia before the Romans invaded. Nigel Mills of Auctioneers Noonan said, There is no other ring of this style which exists. It is an incredibly important piece. The auctioneer's description of the ring read, Celtic, gold finger ring, circa 100 BC, 22mm diameter, bezel 25mm wide, 5.41 grams, formed from sheet gold and die hammered from behind, repoussé, creating in high relief a trefoil shape from three pairs of crescent lips in the centre of the large oval bezel, bordered by a ring containing 25 equally spaced pellets. The sloping and tapering shoulders are decorated with a central buried rosette flanked by annulets on each side. The field is entirely decorated with broad cross hatching or basketry infilling, which is a secondary punching made from the front of the ring. The narrow hoop is circular in section and looped together at the back, extremely fine but with a tear across part of the lower edge. It was said to be the only surviving finger ring of this style. And Noonan's added, gold in Iron Age Britain had been used conservatively in the 3rd and 2nd centuries BC, but British tribal nobility revived its importance and status during the 1st century BC. This ring represents the Snettisham style V ornamentation from the hoard of gold torques and armbands found in Norfolk in 1948, which is a distinctive abstract British style that has become synonymous with the royal treasury of the Iceni tribe that ruled a large part of East Anglia. The execution and refinement of the sheet goldwork from Snettisham is unparalleled on the continent. In Yorkshire, bronze workshops from the 3rd century BC are thought to have developed the style of art which peaked with the Snettisham Ateliers. Die-stamped Brigantian artistry can also be seen on the 1st century bronze hoard from Stanwick in Yorkshire. The trefoil design also appears on coinage, a northeastern Coriel Talvi gold stator, and is believed to be inspired by the three-leaved clover. The rosette or petalled sun ring also appears on silver units of the Coriel Talvi tribe. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.